was sailing 49ers, um, kind of part of a development squad with the British sailing team. And it was in the run up to, to London and there was a lot of competition for places for the home Olympics. And I kind of took the decision to try and take some time away and go and get a degree. So thought at some point I'll have to go and get a proper job. Um, and I went up to Loughborough and obviously being six foot five and I walked into the kind of sports hall for the first day and the rowers took one look and said, oh, that's coming rowing. And I'd already thought about it and yeah, kind of um, that's when it first kind of took off. Kind of everything kind of went well from day one. I was quite lucky. I was in the right place at the right time for a lot of things. I had some great coaches and I was surrounded by a lot of great athletes when I was learning as well. I finished uni in 2012, just after London had been and gone, and there was a few spaces in the British team and they wanted to see if I could fill the gap. And I remember having a conversation saying, do you think you're ready to join the senior team? And I just said, no chance, no way. The performance director at the time kind of took a punt and said, there's one way to find out. And yeah, four years later, I was on the start line in Rio. And yeah, the rest, I guess, is history after that short five and a half minutes later. And kind of put together the perfect race on the perfect day, four years in the making. And Watching the Union Jack go up in uh, with Christ the Redeemer in the background was something you'll never forget. And a uh, bit of a kind of moment where you look back and it all kind of hasn't really sunk in yet. I think the world keeps moving, you move on to the next challenge and find myself now getting ready to fly out to New Zealand to race the America's Cup. I always wanted to get back involved in sailing. I just le leapt to the opportunity to come and get involved. And, yeah, I didn't really know where it was going to lead when I first got back into grinding and it has been a steep learning curve. It's probably taken me about 18 months to actually realise that I can use my arms instead of my legs. But um, no, it's been really exciting. I just love being back in the boat again. Sailing's changed massively uh, in the last 10 years or so and um, it's been um, yeah, a very steep learning curve. We have got a good balance of the older guys who there and they're really good at passing on out to all the new guys and younger guys so yeah it's just been really exciting to get involved in. I think the biggest thing I learned from rowing is if you can just trust that you've done everything you can you can't do anything better on the day you can't be fitter you can't be stronger you can't suddenly be faster you just gotta hope that what you've done is, is quick enough and good enough and uh, I think that's quite a good trait that I have is just the ability to trust in myself and the process and the guys around me and just do your job to 100%. No more, no less, don't try and be a hero, just do your job as well as you can. It's a fairly similar sort of environment. I can still hear people shouting at me. Still surrounded by eight other guys, heart rate through the roof, body screaming at you. That's where the winners and losers come from. It might hurt, it might be things that you're telling you to stop every second, but the fact that you're surrounded by your mates and you've been through it all together, that's the, that's the stuff you can't replace and the stuff you live for.